Welcome to 8 at 8. This morning, I had the privilege of inviting myself to accompany some friends who were going on a kayaking adventure. And that kayaking adventure was fun. Uh, it was an awesome experience, a lot of cool stories, but I wanted to share uh, one of them with you. Um, after we've been kayaking for a while, uh, we got out of the uh, kayaks and there was this place where uh, the current, you know, was we were going with the current in, in the beginning. And there was this place where the current was going over this uh, rock, small little kind of waterfall kind of uh, thing you could picture in your mind. And I got out and all everybody was kind of hanging on for dear life right on the edge because it was kind of a fun thing to do. But I thought I would just swim up the current to that place where the water came over the rocks. It looked like a challenge to me. So I'm a good swimmer. So I tried it, tried it again and tried it again and then waited 15 minutes and tried it one more time. And man, I want to tell you, I could not quite swim against that current strong enough and fast enough to grab onto that rock. It was Highly frustrating, uh, but it's going to prove a little point I want to make uh, this uh, th this afternoon. Now, then we got back on the kayaks and went a long way, about you know, about a mile and a half or something like that. And then we turned around and we had to kayak back up against the current back to where our cars were. And I knew about this the whole time. I was I had been made fully aware that there was the kayaking with the current part and then there was the against the current part. And I, mean, I love it. It was definitely a great workout great way to work out your core and your arms and all that but i want to tell you that both my swimming adventure and my kayaking back up against the current adventure reminded me of one of the most treasured principles that i live by and and that is that in the words of henry blackaby from 20 years ago as i studied him the idea of life is to figure out what god is doing and join him in that work. So instead of us just inventing things to do, and especially instead of us going against what God is doing, to simply see how, Lord, are you moving and, and then to join him, right? That was the whole premise behind that awesome Bible study called Experiencing God. Now, Henry Blackaby, of course, didn't make up that idea. He kind of popularized it, you know, uh, a couple of decades ago. Let me give you just a real brief uh, history lesson about this idea of going with the flow, so to speak. So a long time ago, even all the way back to Augustine uh, and then Aquinas, uh, also use this idea that we now call the missio dei. It's the mission of God. It's a Latin term that just means the mission of God. And the idea that became so powerful over the last hundred years or so that we rediscovered from people like Augustine and, and Aquinas is that God in himself is a missionary God. That God is the one who has sent the Son. And so the church doesn't have a mission the church simply is joining God in his mission, Mission, just like Henry Blackaby said, just like I experienced today when I was trying to swim against the current, everything about nature and the laws of how uh, gravity works and, and force and pressure, I was trying to defy all those things and going against where that water wanted to go, right? Well, that's what it looks like when we come against the things that God is doing. We all know what that feels like in real life. But if I just simply turned around, man, all of a sudden everything was going great. My body was going where the water wanted it to go. And I didn't even have to fight. I didn't have to work hard. I just could kind of float for a long way if I wanted to, right? Well, that's the idea in what we call the Missio Dei. And I really want to challenge each and every person who's li listening to this to realize that it is the Son and the Spirit who have a mission that includes the church. In other words, God is working in and around and through you, before you, and we don't need to figure out what to go and do. We just need to simply open our eyes, and whether that's through prayer or conversation or the Bible or whatever it might be, to open our eyes and see what God is doing and then simply join Him in that work. So, a great thing to pray about today is, God, how are you working? Where's the flow of your spirit? Where do I see evidence of your hand touching this and this and orchestrating this and, and being on mission here? Let me simply, God, join you in that missio day in the mission of God. So it's neither the church nor humans that are the author of mission. 
or even the bearer of mission. We are simply the ones who are joining the mission that God's already been on. In other words, we get to join in the mission of the Father sending the Son. Now, I've got a great song that's 25 years old. I used to lead it in my very first church where I was the worship pastor. I want to share it with you today. It's called Let the River Flow, and I want you to picture me fighting against that current and swimming or fighting against that current, you know, rowing that kayak, and think about how much better it would have been if I had just simply turned around and just swam with the current or just kept on the kayak going down with the way the water wanted to go, how much easier and more wonderful it would have been uh, to swim and kayak that way. So how about your life? As I'm singing this song, is there anything you can kind of name and identify where, man, you just need to let go of the fight that you're fighting against God or against the world, whatever it might be. See how God is moving and join him. Let the river flow. men say I am rich in him. Let the lost men say I am found in him. Let the river flow. Let the blind men say I can see again. Let the dead men say I am born again. extending forgiveness the way God has extended it through you and proclaiming the Son in that way. I don't know what God's calling you to do, but my point is that's God's number one activity is to send the Son. And He wants to do it through you, through your church, through your life, through your social media posts, whatever it might be. So let the river flow. Come on. Let the river flow. 
just turn around and let you just take them where the current of your water wants to take them today. And even in the big decisions of our life, Lord, we might get a sense of what you're doing and it would help us to say no to things that you're not leading us to do. As we look at the relationships that we're in, Lord, that we might see how you're flowing, not how our bitterness wants things to go, not how our routines want things to go, but Lord, where is your spirit leading us how is your spirit leading us? And Lord, may we, even if it makes us uncomfortable, even if we're not always willing, Lord, may we just step into the flow of your current and may we see the tremendous blessings of going with God, going, Lord, the way that you're going. Let the river flow through us today. In Jesus' name, amen.